What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We back at it again with another video today. It's your boy, Clef Makato. As you can see, I'm smiling. I got a big smile on my face. I'm cheesing real hard because we finally found the air box, man. The Hellcat air intake box for the 2019 Challenger RT. Now, as you can see, I already have my hood open. I kind of been just gauging and getting an idea of what actually is needed and what's required for this install and it looks pretty easy it looks a lot different than uh some of the previous years um at least from some of the videos that i saw it looks a little bit easier it's not too many parts to uh, actually take a take take apart excuse me but we actually go get a closer look man all you need is a good little ratchet set a screwdriver and we about to make it do what it do so before we jump into the video if you new to the channel make sure you go ahead and you smash the thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump right into it let's get it all right y'all as you can see this is the box here tube comes in this box this is oem mopart excuse me mopar oem mopar parts and this is the actual air box right here for the 2019 hellcat conversion as you see let me actually go into the light a little bit got the got the air hole looks a lot different than the than the stock one we go actually bust that down in a little bit but oh yeah we got the um hellcat air filter as well had to make sure we went ahead and we went with that upgrade so if you're looking for this particular upgrade make sure you get the hellcat air filter that's the actual part number that you will need and so far like i said i got a little bit of a head start the only thing that i can see you really need right now is where's my eight millimeter you need your eight millimeter and you need you a phillip and then you might need a, a flathead right here just to take this actual tube a loose but it doesn't look too hard um the eight millimeter socket is used to take this part off and then you just have a few different screws that you gotta unclamp and like the box as you can see i, I haven't did anything i literally just took apart this one screw here and this one screw here and it already looks like the box is loose and ready to come out so like i said it seems a little bit different on the 2019 i'm pretty sure as well i might have to loosen this thing up but yeah we about to go ahead and jump right into it i already have my two pieces open right here now one thing i didn't think about we might need to take this plastic out and this thing actually should should just pop out yeah that's easy right there so i'm gonna take him or we'll move him set him right on top make sure you keep your screws together so i'm not gonna move my camera but i got my screws on top of the actual plate up here there's like a little a little circle little dish on that little plastic piece that we moved and yeah man let's go ahead and jump right into this install so go ahead and take some of these phillips out i think we should probably be able to get this install completed maybe within like 30 minutes i honestly don't think it's that hard at all um like i said man with some of the previous years it looked to be a little bit different i literally haven't came out here and did anything except on loosening those two particular screws and the box is already kind of loose so we go see what we're working with and what's under here got this screw out almost here, let me just give it a little bit more uh, there we go got him out Actually, yeah, I need to take this one out too because we need to get to the actual air filter under this joint. Yeah, man. So, this easy, smooth selling. Like I said, quick little install. And I'm hoping, I know we probably not going to get too much of a power 
gain. You know, we probably get a little bit, but I'm just still excited to get this mod on the car just to get an idea of what this thing is capable of doing. And we got all of our screws out. So let me grab this little screwdriver. Take this air, this hose off right here. Let me see, actually, first, actually, let me do this. I'm gonna loosen, loosen this up. I might have to use my ratchet set for this. Oh no, this come, comes loose pretty easily, so don't even gotta do that. You know what, man? I'm gonna go with my big boy too. I have to put that little screwdriver down. <laughs> I have to put that little bitty screwdriver down and bring the big boy out on my new ratchet set. So that looks to be loose. Now, what I'm not about to do is I'm not about to mess my little ratchet set up. So I'm gonna try to get this. Let me see if I can just squeeze this hose off of this thing. This hose is gonna be the tricky part, at least from what I see. So I'm gonna try to finesse and get this get this hold up i'm gonna try to finesse and get this hose off of this thing right here all right y'all so as you can see I was able to just go ahead and push this top portion of the box back. I don't think I actually even need to fool with taking this actual tube off of this thing. So I'm going to leave this alone. But as you can see, the box just comes right out just like that. Go ahead and sit that right there. That's the slot. And we're going to go ahead and grab the new box and i'm gonna just sit it in here real quick just to kind of see how it fits look that's a perfect fit right there so this part is a1 one thing that i do notice we are going to have to take this off of uh, the old box and maybe this weather stripping right here and then also maybe this foam at the um, at the bottom so that's why I also brought out this little this little glue right here so yeah easy peasy easy peasy all right so I'm gonna make a quick little disclaimer when it comes to your old box so just to show y'all real quick just I, I have to put the tube on here but right now I, I have the um, the Hellcat style box in but when it comes to the old box all right that weather stripping was pretty beat up so i got as much of it off as i could what i'm probably actually gonna have to do is order some brand new weather stripping but i'll actually do that at another time this part right here this piece of foam is a no-go this is pretty much done for as soon as you try to peel this thing off it's just breaking apart in a little piece so it might be different for everybody i was able to get the actual uh rubber off of this part easily and get it put on the new box so yeah so i mean what type of uh, what type of mod are you gonna uh you're gonna be able to do without running into some type of challenges but it's very 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 small challenges so right now we go go ahead and we go get the tube connected to the box and we go get this thing finished up all right so we want to got the tube right here go ahead and get this put in the box and before we get this thing locked down i just want to get an idea of how it's supposed to connect it should be pretty easy like it gotta go and this angle actually up and turn it to the side let me show y'all different angles it looks like it's supposed to go up this way because it just snaps into place so got it snapped in let me go ahead and get the box in here let me 
do a little bit of finessing, but so far so good. There we go. All right, so got the tool. tricky so it fits over it but let me see I'm gonna have to bring this thing out again quick snap it in place under Alright y'all, so I went through pretty much all of this work and it's the ultimate fail. The box fits perfectly in here with the Hellcat filter, but as it turns out, this little short tube, it doesn't fit, man. And that's the tricky thing about finding this part for the 2019. I'm, I'm like pissed right now, dude, because I've been waiting to do this install for I don't know how long. Let me just go ahead and show you. So just, just, just so y'all can see, I got this thing, the boxes snapped in place. And look how short this tube is. So, man. I'm telling you, man, I don't, y'all, y'all do not understand how pissed off I am right now. So, looks like I'm gonna have to send this back to eBay, get my money back, or try to find a bigger tool. Like I said, the box itself fits perfectly fine, but <laughs> get this gap right here, dude. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, that was pretty much a epic fail. For the most part, got my hands all dirty. I was excited for this mod. Um, went ahead and just put the original box back on because once I actually, I was actually gonna leave it on with the tube. And when it came to actually uh, put the this top portion on here, the screws did not line up. The screws didn't line up at all. So yeah epic fail i tried uh they man I'm, I'm about to get my money back for sure <laughs> they advertised on ebay that this part would fit the 2019 it checked off as an actual perfect fit for the 2019 and you know i guess that's what happens when it comes to car mods you know you gotta chunk it up as a loss so i'm gonna be sending this back um the only thing i did keep on here for now until I actually find the box. I mean, you can't see it, but I just left the Hellcat air filter. That's my old air filter right there. You see, got feathers on it and whatever else. Still looks pretty new because my car is brand new, but I figured since I bought the Hellcat one, I might as well leave it on there. But yeah, man, I apologize, y'all. I had no idea. I was, y'all know how excited I was to actually get this Hellcat air intake box. I've been so excited for this conversion, but you know, shit happens, man. Shit happens. So it is what it is, man. So that's pretty much go wrap it up for the video today. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just a little bit distraught, but yeah, we'll be back on Friday with another one.